The Dallas Arts District is a great success story, an example of what happens when government, community, and investment come together. Museums, restaurants, parks, performance halls, and residences have sparked a renaissance of activity on the north side of downtown. Museum Tower is one of the latest additions to the Arts District. Its developers desire to contribute to the community by supporting the arts, and they want to be a good neighbor to the Nasher Sculpture Center next door. It's important that Museum Tower is next door to the Nasher because the Nasher is certainly one of this great city's true treasures. So when sunlight reflected by Museum Tower was discovered streaming into the Nasher galleries, affecting the visitor experience, finding and paying for a solution to the reflections became the top priority of the tower's developers. The goal was a 100% solution, and after much hard work, that goal has been reached. I think we'll be doing a disservice not only to ourselves, but to the community um, and to our neighbors. Uh, of, of, of coming up with a solution that is not a 100% solution. The reason why the reflections from the museum tower are a solvable situation is very simply that it's an optics problem where you have to respect the conservation of energy. 22 possible solutions were explored over more than a year. Many different technologies, methods, and ideas were examined in depth by a world-class team of scientific and engineering experts. We have a large consultant team. We have structural engineers. Uh, we have building science engineers. We have optics engineers, um, ourselves as architects. It was a project driven by dedication, purpose, and exhaustive technical analysis. If you're going to evaluate a list of engineering solutions, you need to follow the engineering and the science where they lead. We've looked at each of them very carefully. Um, some of them had, had legs, so to speak. Uh, and we studied them even in a further, you know, in additional sort of uh, detail. Solutions were evaluated against a set of rigid criteria, the most important being to restore the Nasher Gallery visitor experience to an exceptional level, consistent with Ray Nasher's original vision. Only one met all of the criteria and prevented reflections from Museum Tower from entering the Nasher Sculpture Center galleries. It's an idea that has already been proven. When viewed up close, you notice the Nasher Sculpture Center roof is a brilliantly designed sunscreen. Thousands of small shades control daytime lighting inside the galleries. These aluminum parts, known as oculi, are an elegant way of solving solar and reflection issues. They provide diffuse light from the sun while offering a view out to the sky from their north pointed opening. Using the same concept of the original design, a roof of reconfigured oculi can solve the present issue of museum tower reflections entering the galleries below. A revised sunscreen looks very similar to the current roof. Closer inspection shows reconfigured oculi have an adjusted shape and are designed to point toward the northwest. They are a plug-and-play replacement, easily installed during a maintenance cycle for the current modular sunscreen. Oculi of either design are nearly invisible as neither can be seen or identified from the street level or other usual views of the Nasher. The main goal of reconfiguration is to eliminate the hard shadows and perceived bright spots from museum tower reflections that affect the viewing of sculpture. The current sunscreen roof allows museum tower to be seen clearly where there was once a view of the sky. The proposed reconfiguration not only removes the view of Museum Tower, but restores a view of the sky along its new northwest orientation. Scientific analysis validates the idea of using the same ingenious and effective techniques of the original sunscreen to create a reconfigured sunscreen. The recalibrated oculi actually uh, accomplish two specific goals. One, to look at a different region of sky. Two, to keep direct sunlight out. Volumes of research examining the reconfiguration were generated as part of a comprehensive technical report delivered to the Nasher. Initial design and research by an industry-leading engineering firm focused on the performance of a single reconfigured oculus, 
an independent team of optical scientists then used advanced computer ray tracing to confirm and build on those results by simulating complete Nasher galleries under a reconfigured sunscreen. Both groups confirm the new sunscreen blocks all museum tower reflections, produces light levels comparable to the original, and also achieves more even light distribution, balancing the light levels on gallery walls and floors. The depth of the studies is impressive. The physics of reflections, lighting levels, field of view and cooling load were studied using worst case scenarios to predict year round performance. To find a permanent and complete solution, there was extensive investigation into the nature of museum tower reflections. This work clarified a few misunderstandings. The statement in the D Magazine article that particularly concerned me was that the museum tower reflections are 2.5 times more intense than the sun. That's not physically possible. Reflection from a flat surface does not focus light. We're talking about reflection from flat surfaces that are embedded in a curved structure. There is simply no physical way that the light from the museum tower, the light that's reflected from museum tower, can be more intense than the sun, than the original light falling on the windows. Museum Tower was constructed to be a green building, with low impact on the environment. In order to have a energy efficient building, you really have to reflect uh, the sunlight. There was some initial concern about the Nasher Garden, so it too was a focus of research. Reflections are only present when there is direct clear sky sunlight and the reflections are always moving, not dwelling on a single point for longer than a few minutes. Do the, the reflections from Museum Tower affect the Nasher Garden? And my assessment is they don't seem to cause any real serious threat to the vegetation there. The simple summary of my research is that the garden is doing well. The Nasher Garden, if you come and visit, is a beautiful garden, and it looks like it's gonna stay that way. The owners of Museum Tower, the Dallas Police and Fire Pension System, promised to leave no stone unturned in the search for a solution and promised to pay for it when it was found. A reconfigured sunscreen restores the Nasher Gallery visitor experience to conditions comparable to the environment before the construction of Museum Tower. <laughs>